Science is amazing, there's always something new. Here's a cool experiment that you should never do. It's really done by magic, so tell your folks don't sue. This is not a theme song. It's a legal disclaimer. Welcome to the Magic Laboratory. I'm Dr. Scott Green, JD. Remember kids, a jurist doctor is a doctor. That's right, today we're learning about static electricity. I've rubbed this balloon on the carpet for 45 minutes and now, if I touch it to my head, you'll see my hair stick straight out. Of course, I'm much too famous to have messed up hair, but you can imagine what it would look like if I really did that. Science is incredible. This balloon is full of static electricity and it's almost powerful enough to hold this cup in midair, but not quite. What we need is an equal amount of static electricity above the cup. That way, we will achieve static electricity equilibrium and the cup will float. To do that, we only need an active stream of liquid. The movement of the liquid through the air creates an amount of static electricity equal to the static electricity of the balloon below. So, check this out. It doesn't matter how high above the balloon you hold the cup. This isn't very precise. Remember, kids, science, science isn't an exact Science! That's right. Now, grab a can or bottle of your favorite sugary beverage and make that sweet, sweet science. Watch this. Static electricity. Wow, so cool. And to think, you could do this right now in your own home. But only if you hurry and do it without asking, because what if you get told no? Have fun for the Magic Laboratory. I'm Dr. Scott Green, JD. And remember, a generous doctor is a doctor. Scott Green is a professional magician and not a scientist. He's accomplishing these feats with magic. Magic, that's the joke. Do not try this at home. That would be stupid even for you. It's a legal disclaimer. It's a legal disclaimer.